This is a brief explainer video about the meaning of the double omegas in the Forest Fen treasure chase, which has concluded apparently. This video is made on 25 April 2021. The basis of this video is this solution, which I published under another name as Kerry Parks. C-A-R-Y-P-A-R-K-S on YouTube. Basically, quick introduction, you start up here at Warm Creek Picnic Area. You find your way down to the Lamar Valley, follow that along, and then proceeding up to this point here, the Eye of the Needle, draw a line down to Death Gulch, and a further line which joins or intersects that line from the blaze. That is the basis of this video. If you reject that that is a viable solution, then it is pointless watching the rest of this video. You may as well turn off now. Firstly, this is an outline of what I propose to cover. I will cover this aspect quite quickly to try and keep the video short. These are the several meanings of double omegas. In my opinion, firstly, death or an ending, as in the ending of the chase or the ending of the quest to find the treasure. Second, as a representation of a Bactrian camel, which has two humps. Thirdly, deriving from that, a possible reference to the Bactrian gold hoard, which was discovered in Afghanistan. Fourthly, the shape of the starting and the ending locations that are referred to in the poem in Forest Fens, The Thrill of the Chase. And lastly, the Eye of the Needle, which as a key location in determining the position of the treasure chest refers to the shape of that geographical feature a proverb referring to that feature and also the location which apparently falls very close to one of the meridians. Firstly, in respect of Omega, the expression I am the Alpha and the Omega comes from Revelation in the Bible where Omega refers to the last there is also a common perception that Omega refers to death or the end. And in this regard, it reminds me of a documentary about the life of John Kennedy Toole, an author, which is named the Omega Point, referring to death. The connection that I made with the double Omegas comes from a book written by Marie Romero Cash, titled Treasure Amongst the Shadows, which is based on and acknowledges Forrest Fenn's contribution to that book. That book was published in 2013. The publisher of that book is Camel Press, which you will see their logo here, which includes two humps as representing a camel I presume, and that may well be the link to the double omegas which Forrest Fenn uses. Just out of interest, these are the references to Forrest Fenn in the introduction to the Marie Romero Cash book. In particular to Forrest Fenn, who did what no other person has done in this century by giving everyone a a real treasure to search for, as well as providing me with the idea for this book. The preface also goes on to explain the connection. This may be a larger or better image of the two humps, which are included in the Camel Press logo. The reference to the two humps is actually to a Bactrian camel, Dromedary camels have one hump, and Bactrian camels have two humps. 
this is from Wikipedia. This is a dromedary camel and this is a Bactrian camel with the two humps. So if you accept that there is a connection between the double omegas as representing a Bactrian camel, then that may lead to a connection with the Bactrian gold horde in Afghanistan. That was a hoard of gold, quite significant in value, which was recovered in 1978. The best reference for the details of the Bactrian gold hoard is probably this article in the Smithsonian Magazine, which explains further details. Of particular note is some of the items. These are images of some of the items comprising the Bactrian gold hoard. Not that one though. Going back to the Kerry Parks solution, the eye of the needle, this location here, which is just below the peak of, of the Needle Mountain, now becomes relevant. That is as a result of a New Testament quote, which is along the lines that it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Next, we have the fourth point about the shape of the starting and ending locations in the Kerry Parks Solve. This is the shape of Warm Creek Picnic Area, which is claimed to be the starting point for recovering the treasure. As you will notice, it is an omega, omega shape, even though this image has been rotated and this is the final location where the treasure should be down around this area here and again it has the omega shape and finally there is reference to the eye of the needle in Yellowstone National Park This is the arch known as the Eye of the Needle. You'll note the person standing there for reference as to the scale of the arch. This is probably another image which will show the shape of the arch. And that shape actually correlates to the tombstone that Forrest Fenn is holding in this drawing. Even though the grass may give a different impression, generally the shape is kind of an inverted teardrop shape to the extent that the saying references a camel, the eye of the needle and a rich man in entering the kingdom of God. This reference to the eye of the needle may actually be another one of Forrest Fenn's references to his impending death at the time of conceiving the idea of the thrill of the chase. In Forrest's world of mixed metaphors and errors, which are part of the chase, perhaps he has turned the saying around to mean it is easier for a rich man to go through the eye of a needle than for a camel to enter the kingdom of God. I'll show you what I mean. Consider the scale of this person in relation to the arch, and I guess the query remains, is there any possibility that Forrest Fenn actually made it through that arch in one way or another? I'll leave it to your imagination to work it out. Thanks for your time in watching my video. Good luck with your search for answers and if you are going out 
searching. Please stay safe.